what advice would you recommend for someone that is trying to purchase a property? You know, something that a lot of people don't ask for is the current owner's loss runs. Um, what that will show you is, had he, has he had incidences in the past, like a flood? Um, you, may, you might be in an ex-flood zone, but as we learned in April, a lot of people flooded thought they would never flood. Or has he had a um, someone come in and shoot up the building? Or has he had a lot of fires? So those things can be trends. Um, so that's something to think about when you're buying a building. And a lot of people don't ask for that. What type of trends do you see in the market right now for insurance? So for the property insurance market, it's been really soft. I've been seeing rates down 5%, even 15%. Um, now, if you're in the coastal area, you know, we're all right here in the Gulf Coast, you might not see as big of a decrease, or if you've had some losses, you might not see as big of a decrease, but in general, you should be getting a decrease on your property insurance. The GL market as well is also pretty soft, that's more industry specific. And what's GL mean? General liability. Okay. So yeah, the general liability market is also pretty soft, but you might not see quite as big of a decrease on that. So if I own commercial property, um, in Northwest Houston versus the gallery, is there a significant difference in what my premiums are? Yeah, I mean there certainly could be. If you're more, you know, Cypress area, you're in a less wind prone area and so your rate might be more like 60 cents per hundred dollars of value, where if you're in the gallery it might be more like 70 or 80 cents. Now if you're down in Baytown, it's certainly going to be closer to a dollar. It also depends on how much property you have. If you have a million dollars in property, your rate's going to be higher, but if you have a hundred million, it's going to be lower.